Okay, so this video is looking at using bearings within sine rule and cosine rule. So the first thing we need to cover is what do we mean by bearings. So there are a number of conditions for bearings. Okay, the first one is that they're always measured from north. which means you need to think about where north is in your picture. The second one is that they always measured clockwise. Just so that we get the right angle when we're going, which the right direction. The third measure is that they are three digits. So if you get an angle of zero, one, two, Notice there's no degree sign in there. That's the same as 12 degrees. Okay, you don't have to put the degree sign in bearings, although in this particular question they have. So they've said the ferry company runs a service from a, on a triangular roof between the North Island, the East Island, and South Town. From East Island, the bearing of North Island is 300, and the bearing of South Town is 250. Okay, and it appears. I've managed to not get the question, but I think the question will be, what is the distance between the North Island and the South Town? So, if this angle, I'm going to have to get some different colours. If the angle from here all the way around to there, is 250 then the angle there is the difference between 250 and my west line which will be 270 so that is 20 degrees okay and if I now get another color so we'll go for green if my angle from here all the way around to there is 300 then that is 30 more than the 270 so that angle there is 30 now I've been given the angle here is 30 and the angle there is 20 so the total angle between North Island and South Town is 50 degrees so I'm just going to draw myself a new triangle so I've got that side, I've got that side, and I want to work out this side, right, and I've been told that that is 11, I've been told that is 9, and I've been told that is 50, so if I want to work out this side, well that is clearly an angle surrounded by two sides, so that's cosine rule, so to work out the length of the distance between North Island and South Town, I would go x squared equals 9 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 lots of 9 times 11 times cos 50. Remember, because I'm working out a trig thing, I need to make sure that I am actually in the right angle mode. So, uh, 9 squared plus 11 squared minus 2 lots of 9 times 11 times cos 50 gives me that the length of x squared was 74.7 so therefore my answer remember I'm using the whole decimal place for my square root 74.7 equals 8.65 km, which equals x, and that's just done.